Welcome back educators. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at something that's long overdue, extra credit. Now, before we begin, I know that you guys have noticed a lot of the changes that I have on my channel. I am trying to make it a better channel, clearer messages, and also kind of up the quality of my videos. So if you like the edits that I'm doing, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks on building your class online. Now, as we dive in, I'm going to take a look at a course that I've set up a lot of assignments in. I've already set the extra credit setting in Blackboard. So we're gonna take a look and I'm gonna show you how I actually built that. See if you want it for your class, let's take a look. Now in a sandbox course, I do have this unit one. I have some content pages a discussion post, an assignment, a quiz, test, and example journal. All of these are calculating in their appropriate uh, category. So this one is in a discussion, this one is an assignment, quiz, test, and journal. I do have this extra credit assignment out here. Uh, so just know that extra credit has to be in its own assignment. Uh, so I do have all of these examples. And now I'll show you what the gradebook look like uh, as we go into the settings. So when I go to my gradebook tab, I want to go over to uh, the gradebook setup. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I've added a category uh, titled extra credit. This is going to be in crucial uh, because we want to label all of our assignments that are going to be extra credit as extra credit in that category. Now, once we've created that new category, we can go into manage overall grade setting. And I'm using points, but we can use weights or points. It doesn't really matter at this point. The idea is that we can get this extra credit uh, category, and we want to exempt it from our overall grade. So if I open this up, I can see that I have the extra credit assignment. It is worth 20 points, uh, but I did exempt this from the overall grade. So if I go down to the bottom, I have 430 points for this course. I have all of the items exempted that I'm not using. I do have the journal, quiz, test, discussion, and assignment, but I am also exempting this extra credit. This is removing it from the overall score itself. Going back to the gradebook tab, I am looking at the gradable items list. We can see that we have the overall grade. This is set up when we do set up the overall grade settings. I do have an example discussion, assignment, quiz, test, journal, and that extra credit all in here. No, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a calculation that is an overall grade with the extra credit. So to do this, we're going to find a purple plus sign here on this page. We can then say we want to add a calculation. We can give this a name since I already have one. I can always say uh, overall grade, um, extra credit. Uh, I can make it to be points, percentage, letter if I want to. Uh, for this instance, I'm going to say the percentage. I want to see the overall grade as a percentage. I do want to set this base calculation on points earned. Maybe I want to have this calculate by week four uh, and we're working in week one assignments, or maybe I want to have it calculate at the end of the semester. So be sure to check that. The next thing that we want to do is add a function or a variable, and we're going to hit a total. Now, once we've added total over here in this category, we can then select this, and we want to select all of our categories that we're using. And just to be safe, I'm going to add all of the categories. Once I've selected all these categories, including that extra credit category, I want to hit save. It'll do its thing. It's saying that it's validated and we can go back. We want to make sure that this is visible to the student. So I can change that now. And now we see we have an overall grade calculation. I do have this one here, so I'm going to remove this just for our example. And now I want to go into the actual grades based on what the student has performed. Once on the student list, I'm going to go to my preview user. This is where I've actually completed all of the assignments in my gradebook. You can see that I have the discussion post at 30%. I also have all of these at 100 points. They did 
make a 50 on the journal, but they did also earn that extra credit. You can see that the current grade for the overall category is going to be 88.37. Now, the overall grade with extra credit is 88.89. I know that this is not the biggest uh, change, but that's just because they have gotten 150% on an assignment. If I want to go ahead and change their quiz grade, I can override this quiz grade to, say, a 50, just to see that drastic change. I then want to make sure that I'm posting that grade, so I will go back to the grade item and post this grade hitting this box and saying yes. So now I've posted that grade. If I do go back to that student and see their overall grade, the overall grade has changed to a 76, but they are earning with that extra credit a 77.78%. Now, this is only 20 points extra credit, so it is going to uh, only boost their grade several points. It's up to you how many points you want to use, but just know that we do now have an extra credit category for the students to see. If I go back and I start making assignments, another assignment, I can hit create. I can make another assignment called extra credit or extra credit points. I can then go in and make this maybe 50 points, and hit save. It is visible to the student, but I do want to change that grade category to extra credit. That being said, I know that that category is exempt from the overall grade, but I do know that if the students do attempt that, it will add points to their grade here itself. Now, this person has not, uh, you know, has not attempted this, if I do want to go ahead and grade their submission right here, I can give them their 50 points so we can see that. If I want to post that grade, I can make sure that I'm posting that grade. Posting the grade makes sure that the students have seen the most accurate grade for their grade book. We can see that their overall grade is still that 76.74, but now with that extra credit, they are earning an 80. So we do know that the extra credit is actually working, and now we can set assignments to the extra credit category. Now, some of the frequently asked questions that I have specifically with the extra credit, you cannot add a bonus question to a quiz. Say you have a 20-question quiz and you want to make a 21st question be bonus. You can't do that. It is going to be the individual assignment that we put into that extra credit. We can make discussion posts, journal tests, or any of the other gradable items by adding it to that extra credit uh, category. That way, if the students do it, they can earn it on that calculation, but it doesn't affect their overall category. It doesn't mark them wrong uh, if they don't attempt it. As always, if you have any other questions related to this video, please leave your questions in the comment section below and subscribe for more tips and tricks on building a class online. Thanks for watching.